I feel refreshed and ready to head out. Q must already be waiting for me at the greenhouse. This aqu- There's a this aqu this aquatic this aquatic theme reminds me of my ninth birthday. This I I wonder if. I want I wish be The beauty the beauty of the beauty of Esperanza deserves an article of its own Hopefully We're miles away a sad Lanty of Lan Lanty Is that a Is that That ambient Haven't I seen Not really. Good morning, Cherie. I can get on board with Ruben's interior. I can get those up, those up, Ruby. Is the wind getting stronger? Such, such. That's the. Looks the end. If only it sure, it sure. If only it sure is. What a beaut, what a beaut, what a beaut, what a beaut. It sure, it sure, if only, if only, if only, what a beautiful, what a be, what a be, what a be.
I guess I get the end looks looks I guess Ruben likes that's the last that's the last chance to get off the island gone Such if that, if that, how d the person. Does Mrs. Bird sit here when Ruben's ill? Does Miss Carla? Carla. Sorry, Carla. Why are you here? Feel. Feel. Is Reuben breeding some new plant species? Is Reuben... Huh. Is Reuben... Tidying, tidying up, Mrs. Mrs. Bird, Mrs. Mrs. Howdy, came out to enjoy the fresh air. Howdy. There are some... Seems... There are some rusty coins at the bottom of the fountain. Boots... Boots and howls are echoing across the jungle canopy. Boots... Tool belt? I need to take a closer look to make sure. It's definitely the same tool belt Q always wears. Why would he leave it behind? Maybe Jax or Marco have seen. Q. Where did. Q. 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 Where did Q? Q. Where did you go? That 
That's it. That's that's smell. How much? What's up, Carla? You're all agitated this morning. Have you seen Q out here today? Nope. But he was trimming those hedges late last night. Is that why you scurried off to the greenhouse earlier? Kind of. I wanted to have a chat with Q. Can't help you there. Sorry. No worries. I'll ask around some more. There are some rusty... Boots? I think I saw Margo in the foyer before. Hello there. You're all over the place this morning, Cherie. Were you just looking for Freddy by any chance? Nope. I'm trying to find Q. Have you seen him lately? The gardener? I haven't crossed paths with him today, I'm afraid. Mrs. Bird is an early riser, so I'd ask her. She might be preparing breakfast now. Okay, thanks. I'll look for her downstairs. Think, Carla. Think. Could I use a knife? I need to find a knife. Let's get Miss. It worked. Mrs. Bird is free. Oh, bless you, Carla. I thought I was a goner. How did you get locked in here? I was picking some products for breakfast when I heard steps in the kitchen. Before I knew it, 
someone had shut the door on me. I imagine they don't appreciate me snooping in their rooms. You think this happened because of the earring? I am so sorry, Mrs. Bird. I just wanted to find out who might have assaulted the Admiral. Oh, I feel horrible. Nonsense. I'll keep on digging. They've messed with the wrong lady. <laughs> I don't want you risking your life again. Let me investigate alone. Not a chance, dear. I'm seeing this through till the end. Portia and Cat's sweets are the only ones left, and I'll check them both today. Right. Just promise me you'll be careful. On a different note, have you seen Q today? Oh, yes. He ventured out into the jungle earlier today. Do you know why? Not a clue, but Q didn't really have time to chat. I guess I'll have to figure this one out alone. I'm sure you will, dear. Maybe Reuben knows about Q's plans? I should ask him. Reuben? Are you all right? He's getting worse. The blood transfusion could only help for so long. Aren't you supposed to be looking for the miraculous plant? Yeah, but I can't find Q anywhere. That's odd. <coughs> Joaquin doesn't just wander off when he's needed. We had a little disagreement yesterday. Maybe Q went to find the Miraculous without me. If that's the case, he's not doing a great job so far. Who cares about the gardener? He probably got carried away with some flowers. Carla will find the Miraculous on her own, won't you? About that, I have a sketch, but I have no idea where it grows. Portia. You must recall the way to the ruins. We planted some seedlings there. <coughs> Do me a favor and take Carla there, all right? The regular path? That's a full day's hike, Reuben. Actually, Q told me about a jungle clearing near the greenhouse. Do you know about it? That must be the way across the canyon. <coughs> a shortcut. It's worth a shot, Portia. Fine. Fine. Just let me see that sketch of the Miraculous first. Okay. That's unique. Uh, but how exactly are we going to collect its nectar? We'll just... bring the whole bud back for Dr. Cat? And then what, genius? There's a synthesizer tool in my workshop. It will help you process the nectar. <coughs> Let's hike before the sun sets, then. And before those nasty clouds open on us. We should take our raincoats just in case. I... didn't bring one. Could I take an umbrella from the veranda? Yeah, do that. I'll be waiting for you in the backyard. Now get moving! The wind really trashed the umbrella, but I should be able to fix it.
That'll have to do. I best catch up with Portia now. Is that it? Who's been sneaking through here anyway? Er, uh... It's a death trap of thorns there. Aren't you going to clear a path for us? It's not that bad. You'll live. Really. Keep taunting me and you won't, smarty. Just get the shears and clear the way. They should be somewhere here. Fine. Whatever. The path. Well, what are you waiting for? The jungle's right through there. Jeez, the things I do for that man. Do you ever stop complaining? I can just go on without you. Well, look at that flimsy bridge. Damn right I'll complain. Every fiber of my being wants to avoid crossing it. will be fine. That's what bridges are for. Crossing. Doesn't seem like this one's been reinforced lately. Let's just get to the other side. But still, the bridge looks like it's about to fall apart. Hmm. All right. Let's do a quick check first. It's better to be safe than sorry. I should start with the front of the bridge. So many, so many interesting and unusual plants around. So, so the junk, the junk, the jungle looks dense. If I wander off. I could easily get lost. The jungle looks... Not exactly safe to walk through, if you ask me. Maybe there's something in Q's tool belt to help pound this peg in. I should head. I need to hammer this peg in. Let's just hope this will hold. Time to move onward. Watch your step now. Yep. Deep breaths. What a sight! Don't get distracted. I told you to! I've got you. You know, for a person with such great advice, you really should listen to yourself more. I... Thank you, Carla. No biggie. Whoa. What is this place? 
the Esperanza ruins. I suppose I owe you one question about them. But first, we have to find where the miraculous plant has taken root. Okay. I'll check on the other side. This has... We don't have much time. I can see the... I can see the light. Hmm. I wonder how it looked here back in its prime. I need to open up the bottle first. A spider web. I need something to remove it. Well, I found the plant, Portia. What a weird place for it to flourish. There's a whole lot of rubble here. What's it from? This used to be a smuggler's hideout ages ago. Now it's just an abandoned pile of rubble. It escapes me why Reuben was attracted to this particular island. He's got great hopes for it, hasn't he? Enough chit-chat, okay? Let's hurry back before it gets dark. You can synthesize the nectar in the workshop, and I'll make sure Reuben's okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. This has... This... It's not working. It's not, it's not work. I can see the lighthouse. Hmm. 
I wonder... It's not working. I wonder how it looked here back in its... This... 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 This has... That's probably the synthesizer. I have to put the Miraculous into it. I need to put the Miraculous... I can't do that right now.
Yes! This is it! Hopefully this will help Reuben. I should hurry back to the master suite. Carla, please tell me you synthesized the nectar. Just give it to Kat already. No! Now's the time for that miracle. Come on, Reuben. Don't you dare give up on me now. I... I did my best. Please, anyone but him! <gasps> Reuben! What? What happened? Oh, Reuben, thought you were a goner for a moment. <coughs> Just an ordinary day on Esperanza. How are you so nonchalant? You were just on your deathbed. But I'm not anymore, right? And it's all thanks to you, Carla. I'm relieved you're conscious, Reuben, but you really need to regain your strength. Always the sensible one, Cat. You could say I have too much life left in me. <sighs> you stop talking already, you silly man. I think he could use some space now, Portia. It's no big deal, really. Ms. Frost is welcome to stay as long as she likes. Hush now. Okay, I'm out. I have some other issues to handle. Get well. We'll talk again, Carla. I need to talk with the Admiral. Maybe he's back in his suite. Does Mrs. Bird sit here?
feels... Oh, Carla! I'm so relieved it's only you. Mrs. Burt, what are you doing? Frankly, I'm trying to break into Portia's suite. It's the only one I haven't searched yet. Don't you have a spare key for housekeeping? Oh, no. She keeps watch every time I dust the room. It's all on her terms. Everything is complicated with Miss Frost. Even this damn door. How come? Well, Lucas had started securing the mansion with some innovative locks. But he only got as far as Portia's suite. The poor lad. And now we have to hack into it. Can I help you in any way? You'll have to, dear. Unlocking this door is a two-person job. Portia's not leaving Reuben any time soon. But we should hustle. Right. So I need you to shut down Portia's suite from the security room. Just disable it on the computer there, and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, on my way. One more thing, dear. You'll probably need a password for the computer. Lucas often wrote his passwords down and kept them nearby. It'll be somewhere in his office. Got it. Thanks. The PC's here. All I need now is the password. If it were me... Moment... I'm in! Now all that's left is to unlock the door. It will be... This one, it will be. I need to act. Porsche's suite should be on. Wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. All right. Let's check if Mrs. Bird has broken into the room. Seems like... I don't... Brilliant work there, Carla. It takes two to tango. Do you think the earrings in her room? Would you mind searching, dear? You're clearly more sharp-eyed than I am. I'll keep watch in case Portia decides to show up and find an excuse. No problem. Just give me a shout if anything goes wrong. Will do. Go on. Do some digging in there. If that... If that is... Now, where would the queen keep her jewelry?
She does. That's a con. She does keep her documents tidy and strong. Portia sure has. I need to put a battery in. That's the earring. I should check with Mrs. Bird immediately. She does keep her documents tidy and structured. I'll give her that. Mrs. Bird, I found the other earring to the pair. Really? Show it to me, dear. Oh my, the earrings match perfectly. Does that, does that mean that Portia assaulted the Admiral? Even though the earring is hers, that doesn't prove she jumped Wilkinson. It sure doesn't get her off the hook, though. We should keep this under wraps, at least until we find some more leads. I'll see what Q can dig up when he returns. Are you sure Q is innocent in all this? What are you saying, dear? 
That boy wouldn't hurt a living thing. But I'll give him an earful for disappearing on us like that. You bet I will. Well, let's hope he turns up soon. Speaking of the Admiral, he was looking for you at breakfast. Yeah, we have a few unresolved questions. Do you know where he is now? Coming up with a plan B in his suite, I imagine. Thanks again, Mrs. Bird. Take care now. So many souvenirs. Reuben must have traveled all around the world. That's just for Admiral, could we have a word? I hope you've come to report, soldier. How are you holding up? It must have been tough losing something so precious. It's that obvious, huh? It broke my heart seeing Bessie in flames after all these years. Nonetheless, things come and go. That's just the way of life. So tell me, did you find anything out? Someone used a fuel tank from the boathouse to torch Bessie. Well, I figured it was arson. Things don't just randomly go up in smoke. Seems the storm's upon us now. And it's a chilly one. Let me just shut that window first. I should lock the... Much better. So what's your theory about my boat, Miss Page? Well, I think the culprit decided to burn it spontaneously. They smashed the boathouse lock, which shows they didn't have time to find the staff key. Are you implying they panicked? Exactly. I'm guessing you leaving the island wasn't something they wanted to happen. Whoever did the deed must have heard me at Portia's dinner party. I bet it's that clown, Freddy Wolf. You've questioned him already, haven't you? Sure have. He actually told me he'd seen Q and Lucas fighting by the pool. And you believe a drunken fool's ravings? I wouldn't be so rash to reject a lead. Well then, let's go and see what the gardener says. Where is Q? He went to the jungle a while ago and still hasn't returned. I'm actually a bit worried. That boy knows that wilderness like the back of his hand. I'm sure he'll be fine. Meanwhile, we could examine the greenhouse camera footage. Oh, that's worth a shot. I doubt it'd be scrambled. To the security office, then. Rem reminds me of the... I bet the Admiral enjoys a... I bet... I bet... Ruben... Ruben... The view.
I can get... A vote. Beautiful. I'll take some piano lessons once I'm back in LA. Beautiful. I'll take some piano. Mrs. Bird is an angel, managing to run this household. Mrs. Bird is an... Mrs. 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 Bird... Mrs. Bird is an... Mrs. Bird is an... We'll get to the bottom of this. The cameras don't lie. Let's find out who the liar is. I'll rewind the footage to the day and time Lucas died. Moment of truth, Ms. Page. So Q really was here. And Freddy was lying through his teeth again. He must be the one who killed Lucas. It seems I underestimated Mr. Wolf. He's a menace that must be stopped. Lucas must have kept a gun as a security measure, probably in the safe by my feet. Um, surely we'll be fine without a gun. Freddy's unarmed, isn't he? Anticipate the worst, and you'll live to see another day, Ms. Page. Now, there has to be a way to open that safe. Hmm, the logo on the safe. Um, what about it? I'm certain it belongs to a famous security company that specializes in electronic security. There might be software on the computer linked to the safe. Lucky for us, I have access to Lucas's PC. Let me check. Seems like Lucas still had... This one. Okay. Something should have opened. Give me the gun, please. Do you intend to use it on Freddy? If push comes to shove and I'm out of options, yes. Now stop this rebellious act and just give me that goddamn gun. I think it's safer if I keep it, Admiral. Have you gone mad? Maybe, but I feel like you're too personally invested. Could you even pull the trigger? Let's just find Freddy before we play judge, jury, and executioner. I bet he's plotting something nasty in his room.
Mrs. Bird is an angel. Managing to... Mind maps. Tidying up after... Is Freddy. Maybe he's decided to run away into the jungle. Probably, if he's realized we're on to his lies. But there's no way off Esperanza, and he can't lurk in the jungle forever. We'll find him. And that reminds me, I once walked in on Freddy writing something in a notebook. He hid it from me as if his life depended on it. And now, I wonder. Was there anything special about that notebook? There must have been. I'd never seen him carry it around the mansion. And the way he hid it, that notebook has to be significant. Help me look for it, will you? I recall it had a soccer club logo on the front. Of course. I'll search the room. I wish we could... I'll leave the Admiral... I'll leave... I'll leave the Admiral to search this area. I'll look in the other part of the room. Just books. Just... I wish we could... Maybe... Hmm. Why did Freddy bring a newspaper to the island? Freddy drinks... Are these photos of him and his girlfriend? Jeez, his face is scratched off in them. He also kept an article about the accident his girlfriend died in. I should take a photo of this. Did you find anything? Nothing but clothes. Hmm. I thought there would be something of interest in there. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's continue with the search. I need to break a piece off.
That's the one, right? Jackpot, Miss Page. Let's have a look. Hmm. It's all gone. Accident? I don't get it. These are the ravings of a psychopath. We have to find Freddy before he hurts someone else. There's no time to play around. Give me the gun now, Carla. Don't be so rash, Admiral. The notebook mentions it was an accident, doesn't it? God damn it, woman. If anyone else dies on this island, it's on you. I'll handle it. Trust me. Right then. We should tell Reuben what's been happening under his roof. What about the others? Just head upstairs and explain the situation to Reuben. I'll get everyone else. All right. On my way. Go upstairs and let... That's just Freddy's... The beauty of this... Ruben, I think we know who murdered Lucas. What? Murdered? I think Freddy's notebook holds the answers you need. I... show it to me, please. Oh, are you saying that Mr. Wolf wrote this? Apparently, he'd been scribbling these confessions in his room. Oh, God! Wake me up from this nightmare! Is this the only proof you have, Carla? Remember that pin I gave you? The one I found by the pool? The enamel spade? I don't see how that's relevant. I discovered it was torn out of Freddy's jacket. Probably during a struggle. A fight between Lucas and Freddy? Are you sure? <laughs> Any other reason why Lucas's knuckles would be bruised? We checked his body with Kat. Carla's right about that one, Reuben. To think I brought a murderer into my home. Where the hell is Freddy now? We couldn't find him. But Admiral Wilkinson has a plan, I bet. The others should be coming in here any moment. Reuben? It's a miracle! We. Oui. The Navarro bloodline is strong. My dear, dear boy. I knew you'd pull through, buddy. Whoa, friends, be gentle with me. Our weekend has taken another dark turn, I'm afraid. Freddy Wolf seems to have murdered my security guard. <gasps> that sly bastard. What did I tell you? I... I can't believe Wolfie would kill somebody. Wilkinson, any idea where he could be? My gut tells me he's cowering in the jungle. Good lord. 
Q is still out there somewhere. What if Freddy got to him? Then we should team up and hunt that bastard down. I trust you, Wilkinson. Are you proposing search parties? Indeed. I'd prefer it if Ms. Page led one group to scour the jungle. You can count on me, Admiral. And that's exactly why you'll be calling the shots. Meanwhile, the other group will help me search the mansion. I... I can't do this. Sorry, but you'll be better off without me. You'll stay with Reuben and Mrs. Bird, then. Putting them in harm's way is out of the question. But... No negotiations. Who's going with you, then, Carla? if Margot and Dr. Cat came along. The pleasure is all mine, Chiri. As I said before, we sure make a great team. That's settled then. Let's leave no stone unturned, people. But we'll need some light out there, we? Oui? The sun's already setting. I believe Lucas had an electric lantern in case of power outages. That'll do. I'll go search for it in the security room. Come find us in the backyard afterward, then. Seems like... I need to remove the weight first. It's in the way. Got it! Marco and Dr. Cat must be waiting for me in the backyard. All that's... Mrs. Bird is an angel, managing to...
perfect timing. This is gonna be nasty. I just hope we'll find Freddy, and soon. Have they taken shelter? I've got the lantern. Are you two ready to head out? We'll be drenched in no time. If Wolfie doesn't kill us first, that is. I could grab a few more umbrellas for us. Oh, chérie. We'd never get through the dense jungle with them intact. No, but I assume Q had some raincoats tucked away here. I'll help you look for them, Dr. Cat. There's something sticking out of that box. There might be raincoats inside. It's heavier than it looks. Maybe I could use the umbrella as a lever to get it open? Found him! I call dibs on the pink one. I think I found enough raincoats for us. Great. Let me check if they're okay. Mm, yes, those will get us through the storm. Let's comb that jungle for Freddy, then. Okay, we're good to go. No sign of Freddy here. I doubt he'd be lurking so close to the mansion. We're taking the flimsy bridge route, aren't we? It's okay, I've crossed it before. We'll be fine. Please, lead the way then. I'll be right behind you. You know, I just don't get it. How has Wolfie become our suspect? Freddy was caught in a lie, trying to frame Q for what he committed himself. That gives me the shivers. He's been so close to us this whole time. I've been wondering if Freddy also played a role in poisoning Reuben. Nothing points to Freddy's involvement in that crime, though. We might just be missing his motive, Carla. Jealousy? A cry for attention? Oh, Wolfie. Wolfie. Well, we can't know for sure until we track him down. And where do you suppose we should look? Let's search these ruins thoroughly first. There must be a trail or something. The grass over there looks trampled. There's... I can't make out what it is. Some of the grass is still in the way. It looks like... Footprints? Someone... No! Two people walked through here! Are you on to something there, Carla? It seems like two people went inside that shabby house. Really? Are you sure it's not the same person, Shiri? I bet our answer lies behind that door. And I'll find it. Oh, you shouldn't go there alone, Carla. Let me come with you. 
It'd be better if you and Dr. Cat kept watch here. We can't let Freddy slip away if he's still in the jungle. Right. Give us a shout if you need us, Carla. It's not working. Not sure what I expected. Look. Let's see what secrets this house is hiding. This... It's pitch black in here. Good thing I brought that lantern. And that's a perfect place to hang it too. Well, no sign of Freddy here, but I should still look around. A pile of old garbage. Nothing else to say about that. A pile of old garbage. Boarded up with... A stove? A stove? Just an old boarded up with. Why is the well barred with a pipe? Well, mon dieu! Oh, Wolfie! Nobody deserves that. I, I can't handle any more death on this island. The worst part is, someone left Freddy to die here. Freddy was shut inside the well to drown. The whole setup was intentional. But who would consider Freddy a threat? What if Freddy had an accomplice and things turned sour? Oh, I highly doubt there's a larger conspiracy here. All I know is that nobody is safe. Not anymore. Let's see if anything here can tell us the whole story. If you think it's worth the fuss, Anything relevant down that well, Carla? Um, 
I think when Freddy fell into the well, he hit his head and drowned. This is madness. And honestly, either of you could be the murderer. No offense, but everyone's a suspect at this point, including you. Me? Oh, don't be ridiculous. What would I ever gain from killing Freddy? Can we just focus on bringing Freddy's body back to the others? Be my guest, Catherine. How do you suggest we pull him out? I reckon there was an old rope outside. It's not much, but it'll hold. I'll go grab it, Dr. Cat. There should be an old rope. There are too many thorns on it. I need to cut them off. I just hope the rope will be strong enough. It's not working. This has... This has... It's not... It's not... I can... I can... Hmm... Hmm... It's not working. Okay, I've got the rope. Will you lower me into the well? I'll wrap the rope around Freddy, and you two can pull him out. You're really volunteering? Seeing a bloated dead body may be traumatic. I think this weekend has toughened me up quite a bit. What will your magazine make of this story, I wonder? Gotta get off Esperanza in one piece first. Okay then, Carla. When you're ready, secure the rope on the well. Are you sure about this, Carla? Not one bit. Oh my god. 
You're good to go. Well, let's get the poor guy to the mansion. You two go ahead. I'll take another photo first. Not gonna do much for Wolfie now. Just don't take too long. It's getting dark already. I won't. Don't worry. All right. This shouldn't take too long. Now to head back to the mansion and face the grim news. A stove? I wonder who... Just an old... Board... The walls are falling apart. A stove. Boarded up when... A stove. Just an old. Just an old rusty cold. Boarded. I can see the lighthouse from here. It's not... It's not... It's not work. Who's there? Stop right there. I didn't. You should work on your aim, miss. Oh, Q. Can you walk? Slowly, but yes. Let's get you back to the mansion then. <laughs> Dr. Cat, I'm so glad you're here. What happened, Carla? He's barely holding on to his consciousness. No idea. I found him roughed up like this in the jungle. Well, we best hope Q can pull through to tell his tale. He's not critically wounded, but we have to treat the cuts before they're infected. I'll start stitching him up, and you can grab some peroxide from my room. Right away. Those appetizers are... Ruben... Ruben... My...
the beauty. The door is locked. It might be from a power search. The door is locked. The door is locked. I can't go back without the peroxide. There must be something I can do. Of course! The electrical panel! Maybe I can reset the door lock. Okay. I hope there's a switch for the door lock. All that's left to do... I hope it worked. Green means... Finally. A satellite? Is that a pro... I've got the peroxide. I should hurry back to Dr. Cat. What of you? That's just Fre That's just Freddy's way of dealing with problems. I wonder What's going on? He's too fatigued to stay upright. Please, tell me he's gonna pull through. I think so. Based on the bruising, Q must have fallen from somewhere high up. He's lost quite a lot of blood, but fortunately, this man's resilient. The peroxide will prevent infection, right? I have it on me. That's right. 
I trust you can disinfect the cuts on Q's legs? Oh, and take some medical plasters off that table to apply afterward. Peroxide first, medical plaster second. Got it. Of course it's empty. I hope the plasters are still in the bag. Okay, that should be enough. Now I can treat the cuts on Q's leg. First, broadside. Then... All done. Great job, Carla. Q was lucky to run into you. Still, I can't shake off the feeling that his accident is connected to Freddy. I really doubt there's a connection here, Dr. Cat. But you can't deny that the timing of Q's return is suspicious. All this is weighing everyone down, and Freddy's death may be the breaking point. Where was Freddy's body moved to? He's down in the walk-in fridge, as you might have guessed. Everyone else is also down in the basement, fighting about the situation. Given the circumstances, it's not surprising. I'll go check the situation downstairs and let Ruben know that Q is back. Does Miss... Does Miss... Portia sure has you that she does she she does keep her she Por Portia Ruben Janet, what happened? <laughs> you should leave, Carla. 
Why? What's going on down here? Everyone's ripping each other apart in the kitchen. It's awful. And people were saying nasty things about you. What could they possibly say? It's Jax. He thinks you had something to do with the murders. I said he was talking garbage, so we ended up having a fight. It's so stupid. Oh, thanks for having my back, Janet. I guess I'll try to defuse the situation then. Good luck. Everyone's in the kitchen. Mrs. Bird is an angel. Managing to run this house... Oh, look! The mystery girl is here. Huh? Carla, don't mind him. <laughs> Nobody knows what her deal is anyway. Carla's the outcast. She could be the killer. Watch your tongue, Jax. Why are you so protective of her? I asked Carla to come. She's not guilty of anything. Enough! Blaming each other won't get us anywhere. Well, I won't spend another second with the killer. Oh, give me a break. This ain't over, Reuben. I'll find out the truth, sooner or later. Uh, looks like all rationality has gone out the window. That's what happens when despair and fear take root. People lose their heads. Can you blame anyone for freaking out? I mean, I can barely hold myself together. That's obvious, but we should still try to contain the situation. Our only hope is to identify the killer before it's too late. I do believe it's someone from our group. There's a possibility it's an outsider, but chances are slim. Truth be told, I also suspect an insider. My biggest worry is that Q will show up dead, just like Freddy. Actually, I found Q in the jungle earlier. He's bruised, but breathing. How did you forget to mention that? Where is he? In the dining hall. Dr. Katz keeping an eye on him. Let's go check up on him. You didn't deserve this. We're all these... We'll have to wrap... I'll grab... I'll grab... That dumb waiter carry Oh, Q. What happened to him out there? It's still a mystery, Reuben. He's been unconscious for a while now. Is there any way we can bring him around? A bucket of cold water won't do the trick, if that's what you mean. I have some smelling salts in my room. They're potent enough to wake a dead man. Used to work like a charm when someone got knocked out in a fight. Good idea. I'll get them from the castle suite.
reminds me. The leafer is missing. I think this is what we needed. I should head back. I bet the Admiral... Reuben? Reuben? Remind... Reminds me... I've got the smelling salts. Well, what are you waiting for? Give them to me and let's wake the boy.
This should wake him up. Welcome back, Q. Sam, give him a moment, please. Mr. Navarro, you're okay. Thanks to Carla's bravery, and your notes are miraculous, no doubt. Gracias. We need to ask you some questions, son. Where did you get these injuries, Q? I was walking across the jungle bridge, and I didn't notice a rotten plank. As it snapped, I just fell through into the canyon. How did you survive such a steep fall? I was lucky enough to fall into the river, but I was knocked out for a while. Why didn't you wait for me, though? You'd accused me of killing my best friend, senorita. Cut the ball. You murdered him, didn't you? Not again. I've already told Carla. I did not kill Lucas. I meant Freddy. Mr. Wolf is dead? Don't act stupid, boy. You and Freddy both went missing in the damn jungle. Yet, here you are, alive and breathing, while Freddy was murdered in cold blood. That's... no. Why would I murder Freddy? He wanted to frame you for Lucas's death. He said you two had argued by the pool. Well, see, Lucas was almost family, and we had our disagreements, but... Save your speech for the judge, boy. Now, Miss Page, tell me where you found Q. Well, I was returning from the jungle and saw someone moving in the foliage. It was dark and I... I freaked and fired the gun at him. What? I knew you weren't fit to carry a weapon. But it could have been the killer. Carla? You shot a gun? I... Hand over the weapon now, Miss Page. That's what you should have done in the first place. Samuel, this interrogation is becoming excessive. Don't you think? With two dead bodies and an attempt on your life, I think I'm being too liberal. There's no proof. Shouldn't we examine Freddy's body before throwing the blame around? Fine, I'll allow it. But Q isn't leaving my sight until proven innocent. Carla, would you help me in the walk-in fridge? Oh, um, of course. Poor soul. I wasn't fond of him, but this is just plain wrong. Let's check if Freddy was carrying anything that could help us. I think there's something in here. Huh. It's a ring. Looks like there's a gem missing in the middle. The shape of it looks the same. A perfect fit. What's that, Carla? I found a broken ring in one of Freddy's pockets. The strangest thing about it is that I found a gem before that fits perfectly into that ring. The gem must have made its way into the laundry Mrs. Bird was doing. What? Do you think the ring is Freddy's? I doubt it. It looks too narrow to fit his finger, but it might be a lead to finding his killer. Let's see if there's anything else suspicious on Freddy. Empty. There's something in his... Why does Freddy have a lighter with Margot's name on it? Found something in his pocket? What is it? A lighter. I don't remember seeing Freddy smoke. And we already know the boat was torched in a different way. 
Actually, what's even weirder is that Marco's name is written on the lighter. I think that's what you call a lead. Time for a talk with Margo. Go ahead. I saw Margo walking into the club room while I was treating Q. You're not coming with me? For now, I'll be more useful if I stay behind and try to determine his time of death. You didn't deserve this. Chérie, what brings you here? I found a lighter that might belong to you. Oh? Let me see. Yes, I gave this lighter to Freddy before. Where did you find it? I found it on Freddy. Now, do you know why he needed the lighter? I... I'm not sure. I think he did mention something about his fireplace, though. His fireplace? Thanks, Margot. That's really helpful. Next stop, Freddy's room. Actually... I need to clear the ash. Maybe with a brush? Burnt note pieces? What did Freddy try to get rid of? I need a space to reassemble the pieces. This table.
I did it. I should take a photo of the note. That must be the old lighthouse ahead of the ruins. I gotta follow this lead. My goodness, I was worried about you still out in the jungle. What happened to Mr. Wolf is just grotesque. I honestly didn't expect to find Freddy dead. Oh, honey, that was a horrible surprise for us all. And I thought I'd seen enough death in my lifetime. Wait, are you saying you've been through something similar? Sadly, I've coped with much worse. Before Esperanza, I was living in a rough area, driven by crime and bloodshed. Where are you originally from? Born and raised in London, but it certainly wasn't a nice place at the time. I had to do some bad things to survive, Carla. And I paid for them, too. Whoa, Mrs. Bird. You've actually been to prison? Yes, dear. It was the most wicked time of my life. It was a long, long time ago. But it's a burden I still carry. How did you end up on Esperanza? After prison, a truly wicked man blackmailed me to work for him. My past mistakes were his leverage. Luckily, I met Reuben, who took me away from that life. For that, I can never repay him. So, Reuben knows about your underworld past? I laid it all out on the table. But Reuben couldn't care less. He told me it's not the past that defines us but the future we strive for. That's one hell of a quote. Thanks for the warm chat, Carla. I couldn't keep my mind off Q's disappearance. Wait, nobody told you? Q is back. I found him wandering in the jungle. Goodness me. Is the poor boy all right? Just a bit bruised. He's with the Admiral, who seems to suspect him of Freddy's murder. What nonsense! I'll find that man and give him a piece of my mind. Well, let's catch up later. I'm following a lead that might just acquit you. Of course, Carla. Just be careful out there. I should investigate the lighthouse before the crime gets pinned on Q. Stay safe, dear. Haven't I... Those those app There are some seems seems How much fertilizer?
This had... Boarded up windows. Boarded. It's not working. It's a bit too steep for my liking. It's a bit too... It's a bit... It's a bit too... I guess... I get <sighs> just my luck. The handle is missing. Without it, no can do. Any chance I'll find the handle lying around nearby? I get. I need something to loosen the vice with. I need something to loosen the vice with.
I need something to loosen the vice with. Great! I might... I guess rest... I guess rest... Just... Dust and mold down here. Oh, wow. That's the whole of Isla Esperanza. Was someone watching the mansion from up here? It's too dark in here. I can barely see a thing. Is that a glow stick? Maybe I can use it. I should light up the rest of the glow sticks. At last, enough light to look around. Let's see what evidence I can find. That's the one I'd brought Freddy before. Did he spend the night here? What was he up to? Maybe he'll... It's too dark to see anything on this side. It's too dark to see any... This... Locked. Well, I shouldn't leave it here. It might be important. Actually, I could use the Admiral's expertise on this case. I'd better find him. I'd better head back to... I'd better head back... I'd better... I'd better head back... I'd be... I'd better... I'd better head... I'd better head back... I'd better... I'd better... It's a bit too... Whoa! Calm down, little buddy. Someone seems to be in a bad mood. It's not working. Not sure what I expected here. I've been worried sick about you out there. Did you find what you were looking for? 
Well, I discovered a weird electronic case. I'm hoping the Admiral can identify it. Oh, I've already given him a mouthful for locking Q up. So, did you convince him to release Q? Not a chance. He couldn't care less about my truth or anyone else's for that matter. So, where is the Admiral right now? He's in the game room, keeping an eye on the criminal. I'll go have a word with him. Everything will be all right, Mrs. Bird. If you say so, dear. Your voice down, Sam. You know why this is happening, Reuben. Let's just hope those files burnt with my boat. Sam, nobody else knows about the project. It's just us two and Portia, all right? Portia, do you really trust her? With my life. Well, I sure as hell doubt her. Don't forget, this is bigger than any of us, Reuben. Whoa. The secret project really stirred up the waters. There must be a clue at the boat wreckage. Now, I have two important leads to follow. Which one first? Such, such, such. If only... What a beautiful...
This file looks... If only these objects could tell their story. So this must be the project they were talking about. Not much left after the fire. Gene modification? That's big. What is Ruben really working on here? I'll ask Ruben once he's alone. I doubt he'll answer me with the Admiral around. At least now... Looks... The end... The end... I get... I get... I get... Carla? What are you doing here? Just clearing my head. You? I... I just wanted some time alone, away from Jax. He's been difficult lately. And I haven't even told him about my feelings for Reuben yet. Why? Are you afraid of what he might do? No, not exactly. I don't want to hurt Jax. He's been through a lot already. I'll confess to him. I will. I just need a little more time. Are you heading back to the mansion now? Yeah, I need to get some... answers. It's a long story. Oh, okay. Don't let me keep you. I guess Ruben likes to go... I doubt we'll be... Such l He keeps passing out. Samuel, can't you hold off on the interrogation? He'll be fine. Ah, Carla, I assume Freddy's examination is finished? Dr. Cat is still inspecting the body, but I wanted to show you something else. I found a suspicious case at the lighthouse, just on the outskirts of the island. The lighthouse? What made you go there? A sketch from Freddy's room led me to it. You're quite the tracker, Ms. Page. Go on then, put the case on the soccer table. Hmm. That's an advanced military-grade case with a digital lock. Any idea why it'd be in the lighthouse, Reuben? Not a clue. We stopped work on the lighthouse renovations quite a while ago. Who would have put the case there? I think that whoever killed Freddy must have carried the case up there. I found a burnt note in Freddy's fireplace, which I bet was given to him by the culprit. Interesting theory, Ms. Page, but we'd best find a way to open this case first. Well, well, would you look at that? And this seems to be a hint for the digital lock on the case. Any idea how to crack the code? Well, there's a reason why I never worked in the cryptanalysis department. I think you have a better chance of cracking it, as you say. Thank you. 
Job well done. Time to see what's inside. Binoculars? Why were they in the lighthouse? Are those binoculars? Show them to me. Of course, this is military grade equipment. They don't issue such things to civilians. So it couldn't belong to our guests. All I'm saying is a regular person would have to go through lots of trouble and paperwork. But you have the right clearance for such equipment, don't you? Considering every possibility, Miss Page, that's why I like you. But you're wrong to assume that I had anything to do with this. However, given enough time, I may be able to trace the origin of these binoculars. Yes, that could be a breakthrough. Uh, let's agree to pursue this tomorrow, Admiral. We're all too tired for an all-nighter. Fair enough. But I'll stay to keep an eye on Q. Could we speak in private before I go, Reuben? It's important. I don't doubt it, Carla. But forgive me. My head really is pounding. Okay. I'll catch up with you tomorrow, then. Sleep tight. I should just go to bed and get this day over with. I wouldn't when I I can She 
does. Feels, feels, feels. Haven't I seen that? It 